So if you talk threading with a seasoned developer, usually they'll kind of roll their eyes back in their head and say, oh, it's so complicated, it's hard to get right. And they're right. It, it can be complex and it can be hard to get right. There's ways to get around that and, and things like that. But let me just show you the basic problem with having multiple threads. As I said in an earlier video, uh, having multiple threads, it's, it's like a single child versus a multi-child family. As long as you only have one child, there's never any fighting over the toys. But once you have multiple children and so many toys and... and so many children want to play with so many toys, and they end up fighting over it. That's that's when we have synchronization issues. And, and so, in threading in a single-threaded environment, which is probably what you're used to, is basically just one thread, one main, and it goes through and executes. There's no problems, but once you have multiple threads and they got to touch the same data, uh, then we can have some issues. Let me show you a simple example to illustrate that. I'm going to go here in the my main class. Going to say static void count. I don't have to explicitly set it to zero. Dot net uh, is defined. I'm going to say void int count. Uh, dot net will set this to zero for me, but I'll be explicit just for fun. And I'm going to make a method down here. I'm going to say static void increment count. And all the the purpose of this method is to simply Every once in a while, say count plus plus. All right. Now I don't, I don't want to churn and burn my processor here. I want it to pause every once in a while. So I'm gonna say thread dot dot sleep. And what that does is, is it takes the current thread and and tells the processor, hey, don't execute this thread for however long I tell you. And it is the measurement. Uh, let's see, I can pass the time span here, or I can pass in milliseconds. So let's just say, hey, every thousand seconds, put this thread to sleep and don't worry about it. Set it aside. Let some other threads use the processor instead. So basically every every uh, thread we send in here, it's going to go through while true and just count plus plus, count plus plus, count plus plus. So let's make some uh, interesting uh, output here as well. I'm going to say uh, thread, all right, console write line, um, thread, ID plus thread dot current thread dot uh, yep dot manage thread ID. Uh, let's go to the next line here. Uh, incremented uh, count to plus count. Okay, so so it's going to increment count. It's going to report its thread ID, and it's going to say it incremented count to whatever the current value of count is. And then it will go to sleep. Not a problem so far. Uh, actually, there are some issues, but we'll see in a sec. I'm going to go ahead and say var thread1. It's new thread. Pass it increment count method. And control L, control VV. I'm going to make a thread2. So both threads are going to go into this this method here. I'm going to say thread1. Why don't you go ahead and start. Uh, start. And then main, so three threads going on here. There you got two threads here. And then our main thread, I'm going to say, hey, main, why don't we take a little nap too? Let's sleep for half a second. And then go ahead and tell thread two to start, like so. So basically, roughly a half second out of sync, we're going to have these two threads going through and just count plus plus, count plus plus, count plus plus. Control F5, run the program. Hopefully the output's pretty straightforward. You see we have managed threads, IDs, 3 and 4. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, roughly, hopefully this is what you would expect. Uh, we're just incrementing nice and cleanly. Okay, so let's start uh, stepping on each other's toys a little bit. Notice, first of all, a second is really a long time in computer time, and 500... Uh, milliseconds is also, is also a long time as well. Now this count plus plus, it looks like it's 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 one operation, but it really isn't. It's more like saying count gets count plus one, All right? And and literally this is what it compiles more down to in the native instructions is basically we get we have to read the value of count, and then we have to throw one onto the stack if you know what that is. Then we have to add them, and then we have to take that result and reassign it into this memory location. So there's a lot of steps going on here when we say count plus plus. It's just not count plus plus uh, a single operation. If it was a single operation, here's the threading term for you. We would call it atomic. Okay, back in the day when researchers or scientists were examining molecules and things like that, they thought the atom was the smallest unit of matter, and so uh, you cannot break apart an atom. It was atomic. 
And the same idea here is count plus plus is not atomic. We can definitely break it up. We can break it up to a read or a read here and a, a, a sign, a push onto the stack here, uh, addition here, and then an assignment. It's several operations, okay? Well, if I run this, we're still not going to see any real major problems because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth. So, so, so what if we did this? Let's, let's, um, Get rid, get rid of that, and uh, come back over here. And I really want to stress that this is not an atomic situation. So I'm going to say um, int temp gets count. Okay, so it's like I'm going to do the read. Right, instead of doing the read here, I'm going to store it away in a temporary. I'm going to put a sleep right here. I'm going to say thread dot sleep, and let's sleep. Oh, let's sleep for another second right here. And I'm going to say count gets temp plus one. All right, so I do the read, I save it away, I go to sleep, get a little lazy, and then I say, okay, well, now let's increment count, and then we're going to see what it was incremented to, and then we're going to go to sleep again, uh, take our dandy time. Control F5, let this run. A lot of sleeping going on here, but hopefully you notice, oh no, the output's looking pretty horrible here. Okay, we got multiple ones, and multiple twos, and multiple threes, and fours, and fives, and there's some sixes. It's pretty predictable because we have the same amount of sleep time here. But in theory, when threads are running really fast, they can sleep and and wake up uh, at different times, not just a set time every time. But I'm really just trying to stress here that now we thought these threads were atomically incrementing the values, but they're not. They're they're uh, unatomically. I don't know if that's even a word, but basically they're stomping on each other's feet. There's no long no longer a single child going on here. And it's all because I've widened this gap. Okay, before when we had count plus plus, which is which is the same as saying count gets count plus one. I mean, we're really widening the gap between the read, the add, and the assignment here. All right, by throwing in this thread dot sleep. Now the window when I did say count plus plus, yes, the win ah, count plus plus the window in which that read. Uh, add an assignment back to count happens is very small and minute, but really in computer time, if it can happen, it will, and more frequently, it, it will very often, and, and that's the major problem is simply synchronization between between threads here. So, so how do we how do we alleviate that problem? How do we uh, dance well with each other or play well with each other's toys? Um, I'll show you in the next video.